I love my wife. I did a summoning video. I summoned bullshit. And this video is going to be scheduled to send out a little bit later. Just because my wife and I are at TwitchCon right now. And I wanted to talk about the Titan points. Just this entire post, right? Bonus uh, summon rush is going to have... I almost said secret room. Uh, we'll have Titan points. Now... People are saying they feel scammed, that this is a shitty thing to do. You literally can't see that you can collect points from the calendar, that we're going to need extra points with the other event like Polarium did with extra dungeon divers during the Mithrala Titan event. Polarium, if you don't do this, then from the bottom of my heart, fuck you. I noticed when I did my summoning uh, rush event that the points were a lot higher like the points that you or the shards that you needed to summon were a lot higher than what i was used to i think i'm used to like seven maybe eight sacred shards i think i needed to pull like nine or something like that but still that's a little bit of an inflation thing right and uh modern thinker og says why do you feel scammed why do you feel scammed polarium was transparent for two weeks that this summon rush was coming in the fusion calendar did you not think that they would make it in such a way that there would be motivations, incentives to pull on it? There's no scam here at all. What you're feeling is disappointed with your own situation, but it is certainly not a scam. All right, few things to break down there. I understand where he's coming from. I get it. I don't fully agree with it though. Newer players aren't going to know probably aren't going to know, especially if you haven't played a gotcha game before, you're not going to know the situation that's in front of your face. You're not going to know the whole FOMO scare tactics, um, you know, dangling the carrot in front of your face. I think that this is a little bit different though, personally, right? Because we can expect the bait, right? We can expect the carrot, but they put... And I'm trying to think about this before I say anything. They told us one thing. That this one event was going to be for... Thor. The Thor fusion. And then... They go ahead and throw in... Something else in that same event. For a separate event. Something's just off about it. I, I don't know. I, I, I probably... I probably can't articulate it in the way that I'm trying to um, explain it right now, but, but yeah, let's just continue. Uh, like, I get where he's coming from. You should just expect this from now on. You should just, especially this specific thing, you should expect that if there's going to be a fusion and a Titan event, expect that they're going to do this. Expect that they're going to mix in points now, right? You should always expect and prepare. If you don't know, now you know to prepare for the worse, right? Set the bar extremely low. That way, if they do something scummy, you're not gonna be surprised. And if they go above and beyond that bar, good, great, perfect, thank you, bing, bang, boom, right? So, another one defending a company. Why do I feel scammed? And by the way, there's nothing wrong with how you feel. If you feel a certain way, cool, right? Nobody should tell you how to feel, not me, nobody, right? You can feel the way that you want to feel, just know in the future that, hey, maybe expect it next time. And it's not your fault that you didn't expect it this time. I don't think any of us expected it really this time. I didn't expect it. Fuck, dude, I didn't know that they were going to do this. I didn't know that they were going to put in the fragments for the Thor fusion and then put the hammer points in there too. Right? I don't think they've done that before. Yes, they did say two weeks prior that this summon rush was coming, but they weren't transparent about adding Titan. He's saying it. He's saying it right now. They were not transparent about adding Titan points to this event. Why would this be normal company behavior? Why can't they add to the calendar that this summon rush is going to contain rewards for an event that shouldn't be completely, that should be completely separate from this fusion? Why should I guess something like this would happen? He's got a point, right? This has never happened before. It's, it's like this, right? I'm trying to think of like a good um, analogy. It's like when you want, you're, you're, you're going for one thing and you get something else. Or you get the thing, you technically, yes, get the thing that you want, but then get something else, right? It's like that that uh, somebody commented in, in my last, one of my other videos about a, I was, what did I say? I was like, oh, it's like when you make a wish with a genie 
and you get your wish but you get it in like a way that you uh didn't expect it or didn't want directly in the same way that you thought it was going on in your head something like that but no no uh, it's like when you go to the store and you buy one thing and you get something i'll, I'll come up with a better one uh, just give me give me a minute i expected incentives like a one plus one some 10x bait event but to include points for a completely separate event for what was advertised as an optional uh, summon rush for the fusion is absolutely shady as fuck i agree i agree Again, Modern Thinker, I hear you. I agree with you too. I just think that I wouldn't call it I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it's not a scam. I, I think this is this is grounds for um for calling it a scam, right? I think I think yeah. I th it's definitely misleading, misdirecting. They didn't disclose the full picture. They're not showing the full picture and it's by design, right? So, side tangent, I've said this before, I'll probably say it again. Whenever it comes to bigger entities, companies, governments, corp, you know, just anybody who's at the top, any, any, anybody at the top will want you guys to stay dumb. They want to mislead you. They want to keep you misinformed, uh, uneducated. They don't want you to have information, right? The guys, the powers that be do not want you to be aware. They don't want you to be sentient. They want you to get sheeped <laughs> they want you to get polymorphed and they want you to stay polymorphed and they want to keep you slow right and one of the examples that i used before was education system specifically right now because i only know about the education system in america public school system fucking sucks dick dude they purposely design it to make it extremely hard for anybody at the bottom impoverished right in that type of community to not receive the education that they need that would help them thrive. They don't want people like us rising to the top. They don't want us in places that, quote unquote, we don't belong, right? They don't want us to have power because it's easier to control those who don't have the knowledge. It's easier to control those who are not, quote unquote, intelligent because people who do not have that um, knowledge or wisdom about themselves and of the world will be more than likely to i have to tread carefully with what i'm saying here that's why i'm stopping to think uneducated people again it's not their fault it's the system are more than likely going to fall for tricks they're going to be driven by emotion Right, So it's going to be easier to control the masses um, if they're uneducated because you can just uh, instill fear on them uh, or you can sell hope. You can bait them, right? And that's not just within raid. That's anywhere in life. Any, any situation in life, that's the way that it is. Imagine if... <laughs> just imagine the nation, right? The United States of America. Do you think that if everybody had a doctorate level education and actually people were smart and they knew everything do you really think uh should i say this i'm not saying this i'm just putting the theoretical out there all right this is not me saying it i'm not saying this i'm just asking a question do you think that religion would have the power that religion has today. I'm not saying this. I'm just asking the question. It's not me. If people were educated and knew everything and had the full picture, do you think that religion would be as powerful as it was today? As it is today? Why are people still surprised by this? They've been doing this for a year now. People need to plan for this stuff. True. But again, if you didn't know, you don't fucking know, mate. How do you predict a Titan event starting before the fucking fusion even ends? I just don't get why you're saying that it should be normal. It shouldn't be normal. A lot of people don't watch CCs regularly. That's true. A lot of people don't. And in the calendar, it doesn't show you that you can get Titan points. What's the point of it then? I'm just saying it's scummy behavior. True. Even if you don't watch them, it's been happening consistently enough that people should know the final shard event is more important than the others. I didn't know that. 
Polarium, if not anything, is not consistent. Oh, this is dirty as fuck. And it's got a 69 on it too. Dude, this is the thumbnail. This is the thumbnail. Hold up. There you go. That's the thumbnail right there. All right. No, it isn't. It's a company doing company things. Your grocery store doesn't tell you, hey, don't buy that today. It's going on sale 48 hours from now. Yes, kind of. Um, geez, I'm trying to think of a, of a really good um, analogy here. Um, it's like ordering a burger and, and you do get the burger that you were expecting to get. But then the meal also comes with like French fries. Now the fries are thrown in to make the meal a lot more appealing. But again, what if you didn't want those fries? On the plus side, yeah, you do get um, a little something extra. And by the way, if you have a better analogy, please let me know. Please put it down in the comments. I, I don't think I can most aptly articulate what I'm trying to say. So if you get those extra fri fries, like yeah, it, it could feel like a bonus, right? Because fries are good. Who doesn't like French fries? However, on the downside, the additional offering, um, it could tempt you to spend more money than you initially were going to spend, making that extra more of a uh, sales tactic, right? Interesting that it doesn't show as awarding tight end points in the Polarian play calendar, but it does in the game. They usually don't update the calendar until the event starts. The calendar shows a number of other tournaments and events awarding tight end points, but not the summon rush. That's true. No, I should have skipped the summon events, but they baited me with the easy 15. That's true. They got us, guys. 1500 champ chase points. Oh my gosh, this is a new low act of terrorism. That was a bait. I guess there was a reason why they purposely brought the uh, champion chase points down, right? You can skip the 250 points, so I'll just skip this. Bold of you to think that you can skip. Don't be surprised if it has like 400 points in it. True. Grab the early ones, skip the ones at the top end. If you're going for less than five star, then it's an easy skip. True. Mod, thanks you for the bonus frags. Pure scumpler. <laughs> this fucking gif, dude. <laughs> Pure scum from Polarium. Bet they'd put 250 points in there. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Some fries, motherfucker. I'll rise, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God. I don't think they've yelled, Oh, fuck you! At a game louder in my life. Could I still go for the five-star soul by skipping this event? You can, but it's going to be much harder, and this is one of the better events to go for. Whatever they do, people always get mad. This community. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Whatever whatever Polarium does, people are going to get mad. It doesn't matter. Haters mad for whatever reason. Smoke in the air.